All right, this is uh, from a model shoot. This is from a model shoot back in 2006 on the uh, Little Bighorn. It was uh, actually the, let's see, it was, uh, oh, I can't remember what anniversary of the Custer's Lap stand. It was that time of year. Anyway, this is a Crow Indian girl that's dressed up as a Blackfoot Indian uh, at, in a Blackfoot dress. And uh, I'm going to use that dress because it's simple. Uh, it doesn't distract from uh, the total design of what I'm working on. Time to play with some clay. Okay, a little cooler in my studio today. I have to wait for my clay to warm up because I turned off the light over it yesterday. Yeah, I didn't need it yesterday, and I do today. I got to clean up her neck because uh, the back of her neck is going to be more exposed than if she had full head of hair. All right, I'm going to put the uh, top of her dress on. It's uh, the style of dress or the structure of the dress is kind of like a really wide open top. And uh, there'll be a strip of trade cloth along the top edge and then some stitching on that. And I've got to uh, work that out. I ran this clay through my pasta machine so I could keep the uh, thickness the same all the way across. It would be made up of a, a couple of real nice doe skins. One for the front, one for the back of the dress. to do a different approach on this. I'm going to go a little wider. Yeah. I'm determining the uh, trade cloth strip along the top of her dress. And, uh, and I'm just going to sculpt out a little bit of clay under, along that line.
by the way, I was talking about the eye yesterday being a bothersome thing to me. Well, I completely cut the eye out and moved it up about an eighth of an inch yesterday. And my, I did video it, but I just realized this morning that I had deleted that little video so you didn't get a chance to see it and I'm sorry about that. Okay, I rolled out some clay a certain thickness and I flattened it out by hand leaving it kind of round on the top so that it gets that lazy stitch uh, that uh, I'm trying to recreate. And then I've got this uh, serrated edged metal tool I'm going to make uh, I get this tool out of the way. And I need a light so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Less light is better than. Anyway, what I want to do is I. These would be seed beads, not pony beads or anything larger than seed beads. And so I've got to uh, just indicate it. I can't make. The beads individually so I've got to sculpt them and this is the best way to do it and it's better to do it off of the clay before I put it back on okay I've put the uh, beadwork on so I'm going to bring the dress up to the beadwork a little bit more I'm not sure of the period of this dress. I'm thinking it probably 1850s, maybe 1860s style. Okay, I'm putting on the uh, back beadwork. Her face looks like a mummy right now. And I'm going to really work on trying to change that. And soften it up a lot. I'm not happy with the face right now. Alright, I'm going to have to... Uh, Call it quits for tonight. I've got uh, a few things I can do to. Them. I've got to have three rows of beads just like these, three of them together, coming down. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to support it. I know what I'm going to do, but I don't have the time to do it now. It's part of those 50 years, over 50 years of uh, little tricks and hacks that I've. Uh, come up with over the years and uh, that's why I want to ask you to uh, check out my uh, instructional videos uh, I've got a link below this video to a review of all nine of my videos and um, see if there's anything there that appeals to you um, if you buy all nine of my videos I add three unlisted videos to it so you get actually 12 videos all together for the price of uh, nine and actually you're getting the nine cheaper than you would if you paid for each one individually so anyway i just wanted to give you a little promo before i go tonight um i have had over 50 years of uh practice on this sort of thing and uh, I've worked out these type of problems over the years uh, you, you run into a lot of them and you have to figure out a way of uh, solving them and I kind of have over the 50 years I still solve things I still have things that happen and things that uh, 
challenged me, but uh, most of what has challenged me for 50 years is in those videos, and I give that off to you. So, if you're interested in sculpting, you might check that out. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.